Hello, Teacher Teresa here. I thought I'd make a really quick uh, video. Uh, seems like all of the VIP Kid teachers do that. Um, I've been with VIP Kids uh, for 45 days. I have taught um, 30 classes. And the reason for that is, is right now I'm just doing it as a part-time job. I uh, work full-time for an insurance company. I've been with them for uh, 21 years. It'll be 22 this year. And I've been in the insurance industry since I was 19 years old. So you're probably saying, well, then what are you doing teaching with VIP kids? Well, I do have a four-year degree, and that is uh, one of their qualifications is for you to have a bachelor's degree. Um, I don't have experience with children in the workplace, but I do have experience with children. With that said, um, I did homeschool my son. I have uh, three children of my own. And then I uh, married again and had uh, three, I have three stepchildren. We became the Brady Bunch. And so and we had them full time. So I had six children in the home, homeschooled one of them. I also helped all of them with their homework. Um, I also have uh, nine grandchildren, so I have a lot of experience with children. I also taught uh, at my church on uh, Sunday mornings in Children's Church and on Wednesday nights uh, for many, many years. Uh, because I work two jobs now, of course, I, I don't do that anymore. I, I, I'm lucky to go on Sundays, and I do try my best to go as often as I can on Sundays, but there's no more Wednesday nights. Um, but right now, so what I do, I know eventually I'm going to be retiring uh, from my main job, and I do love children, and I saw this. I needed to make a little bit of extra money, and I wanted to find something else I could just kind of slide into um, when with my new uh chapter of life in, in this book, um, in my book of life, um, a new chapter in my life, and I'll eventually be retiring and just going into something different. And um, with my degree and with my experience with children, the two together, it works out perfectly. So working as full time, it's perfect. Um, if you are a stay at home mom, it's perfect for you. If you're someone looking to just work part time and make some extra money, it's good as well. Um, I do plan on eventually retiring and then going into teaching full time. And my full time may just be the VIP kids or I may uh, go ahead and go into uh, get my certification to teach elementary school. Um, and still continue with VIP kids. I'm not 100% certain on how that's going to work out, but I do know I am planning ahead. So with that said, I want to kind of give you some of my experience with VIP kids. Um, I opened up a lot of slots in the mornings and the evenings. Um, I, tr I did not open as many as the ones who uh, this is their only gig, this is their only job that they do. Um, I had to be careful because I do work a nine to five job during the day. Luckily from home, um, I work for a call center. So um, my, uh, I do like, I'll work from six in the morning to uh, 7.30, that'll be my last class um, because I need to be on the phones uh, with my uh, regular job by 8.45. So then I also will do classes in the evenings uh, starting at 8 o'clock. Um, I am still kind of playing with it a little bit because that's uh, I'm, I'm finding myself getting a little exhausted. I'll have to like skip a day. Um, I believe I'm going to try maybe my schedule up a little bit different my, maybe and just do evenings. Um, however, the only thing with that is I have found I, I have when you start getting regulars, you kind of get attached to them. And I have one particular regular that I have at uh, 6.30. I don't have her every day, but I have her about twice a week that I've really grown attached to. So I'll probably leave that slot open for her. So I will still do some morning classes here and there. And I'm hoping the nighttime will work out better for me. If it doesn't, it's okay. I'll just drink my coffee. My body will eventually get used to it. Um, and it does. It's... If you enjoy what you're doing, it makes a world of difference. Um, so 
It really, I'm really enjoying it. I will tell you that in the beginning, it might take a little time for you to get bookings. You might get bookings right away. What I did uh, while I was waiting to get bookings is I went to the academy. I watched uh, recorded workshops. I um, watched videos of classrooms. I also signed up for workshops and I, I did we did those uh, through Skype or uh, Zoom I believe it was Zoom. Um, I also went to the Dollar Tree got as I went crazy on the props. I have so many props it is unreal. But if you're like me and you have children at home, you have grandchildren, then you already have um, props around the house. You know, you have little toys that, you know, maybe they don't play with anymore. Um, I use a cookie sheet. Sorry for popping out. I use a cookie sheet actually for my reward system. Um, to, and these are magnets, uh, snowmen. Got these at um, the Dollar General, but the cookie sheet um, didn't cost that much. These were only a dollar, and uh, this is where what they see their rewards. And you always want to make sure that they can see them. I, I'll, my classroom is huge, so I usually span it around. I've got a bookshelf over here. I've got a um, like a little stand-up thing over here. I could kind of move it to where you can see it. Kind of got my Superman uh, picture on there right now, but. Got that for the boys, you know, because they like the um, superheroes. But um, some of us girls do too. I love Batman and Wonder Woman. But anyways, so I kind of went crazy in the classroom and kind of overdid it a little bit. Let me see. I'll show you some of the, you'll see. I mean, I have decorated all around my room. Um, I can't, let's see if I can go up a little further. Yeah. I had um, a Christmas tree up and the stockings and all of that. I'm probably going to kind of tone it down a little bit. Um, they can't see all of this, so I think I think I'm going to tone it down a little bit. But I've got a full bookshelf loaded with props, loaded with reward systems, and you're going to constantly be trying to come up with new reward systems. So. Don't spend too much money on it. You can find things around the house. Just, uh, I would invest in magnets, and then that way you can make your own reward systems and um, just put them on magnets. Um, that's what I did. I ordered me some orange t-shirts uh, through Amazon. Uh, one of them, let's see, this says uh, teacher, and then it has it in Chinese writing. Um, I have another one that says teacher and then it has the map of China with a big heart. Kind of like I love China. Um, I haven't been able to really find any with the dinosaur on it. Uh, these really to me aren't good quality t-shirts. So I have uh, a friend here locally that makes good quality t-shirts. I'm going to go to her and get the better quality because I noticed with washing these they've already started to kind of, I don't know, that, that they just don't look right. They, they look like they're starting to get a little shriveled. And then I really haven't had these for maybe a month. And one of them's already starting to get a hole in it. Um, but I'm really OCD about being clean. So um, I don't know. I need more than two t-shirts. I do know that. So I'll have uh, one a day. But anyways, I just wanted to kind of come on, give you a brief description on the, you know, being a new VIP kid teacher, um, just what I've done. Um, I'm still learning about TPR. I just watched some videos today on the TPR and I, I still have a lot to learn. So I need to get used to using my hands more. And we all know about cupping the ears and, and pointing at our our uh, mouth um, and, and saying, fine, fine, fine. Um, I've heard that they don't like to be pointed at and a lot of them will just extend their hand out. But I've also heard other people say it's okay to point because you're saying you, me, you know, they understand that that is our, um, that, that that's not offensive on in our culture. But you still want to be careful. Um, and you'll fill each student out. You'll, you'll know. Um, 
But um, anyways, always be smiling in the classroom. Uh, smile, smile, smile. That's a big, that'll help a lot. Um, and they can tell if you're into it or not. So definitely smile. You're going to use a lot of expressions and just, you know, with your eyes and just smiling and using your hands. And it's okay to be silly. I mean, this is your excuse to be silly. So now when the, when you're going into the higher levels, that might be, you don't want to be babyish with them. Um, but they like to have fun too. So, um, anyways, just thought I'd kind of, there's a lot of things I could talk about. So I'll have some segments here and there. I'm going to start, um, coming on here and there and, and making a few YouTube videos and, um, just sharing with you. Uh, my experience, my journey with the IP kids. So again, I've only been with them 45 days. I've only done 30 classes, but again, it's only part-time for me. It's not full-time. If it was full-time, I would be opening those slots up big time. Mornings and evenings, whatever I had to do. Um, but right now, no, not until I uh, am ready to, to leave my uh, workplace and uh, honestly, benefits mean a lot to me. It's another thing I meant to mention with VIP kids. You know, you have to pay, you have to come up with your own insurance unless you have a spouse that, you know, that works, that you're, you get your uh, benefits from him or her. Um, and that's great if you do. Awesome. Uh, but with me, I don't have that situation. So that's one of the main reasons why I've, I'm hanging in there where I'm at because of the benefits. So, and that's another reason why I'm thinking about, well, if I retire from them, maybe I should just, you know, work for the government, maybe work elementary school, you know, make sure I'm getting the insurance that I need, um, and then still do VIP kids because I really do love them. I love them. Uh, and you're going to find that out. Um, just they're, they're just awesome. But, um, that's my experience. And then also taxes. I live in the state of Florida, so I only have to worry about federal uh, you know, and social, social security, you know, but I, I don't have state taxes. A lot of states do. So make sure you don't want to get hit when it comes tax season. Uh, make sure you're taking out for taxes. So you'll see more. I'll come up with some tips. I'll be showing um, a lot of some of my reward systems that I've come up with um, and uh, props and things. That'll be a separate video. I'm just telling you about my journey on this one and uh, that I am a part-time VIP kid teacher. Uh, this is, uh, I work two jobs, VIP kids and my other job. And uh, this is mainly uh, just to, for new VIP kid teachers um, to see what uh, it's like, you know, with the, when you first start out. Uh, and if you're want, like me and you're just going to be doing it part-time, maybe I can help you out more. Um, but the, I don't do it full-time and, and uh, I wish I could, but I can't in my situation. So until next time. Bye.